hi guys welcome back to this super duper cool new video and in this video we are going to see how to add pneumophism effect to dv so this is a combination of two shadows one will be lighter and one will be darker and it is also a combination of two words new and skeuomorphism so as you can see right over here on the dribble you will find out lots of lots of shots about the pneumophism it is also called as pneumophic i don't know so many words so as you can see right over here we got the full details about the pneumophism to work perfectly we need a background color to be in this code we need a shadow one to be in these settings and shadow two to be in these things so uh, right over here we have this shot uh, this person has designed almost everything such as this button into field drop down and lots of other things such as this progress bar everything is having this pneumophism effect so uh, you can find out lots of inspirations about the pneumophism uh, by just going to dribble and then search for pneumophism and you will find that so if you don't know about dribble dribble is a very huge place for the designers uh, you can get hired from there by showcasing your work if someone will like your work you will get hired and you can earn money <laughs> money okay so we are right now on the in the dv page and it's a visual builder here and let's find out a section so we could work with it so i have this section right over here so first of all we'll need to change its background color and it's having this gradient we'll, we can remove that like that so let's go to dribble and we'll be taking help of this shot so we need the background color to be in this in this code right over here so let's put that So this is that color code and now we need to add CSS so we are done with the background color so first of all let's have our blur module design uh, I'll be removing everything from here this gradient and I can add a color as E7 E7 and E7 uh, three times E7 and with that done I would like to change the icon color to a bit dark uh, something like that and change the text color to black change its font and now let's extend the blurb style so all of the blurbs here will be having the same thing and i forgot to do one thing let me close that and go to blurb settings then change the border corner radius to 10 that's the important thing and now let's extend this blurb style to this section and extend it as you can see we got all the blurs with the same design and now it's time to work with the CSS so let's go to advanced custom CSS and main element and let's add the box shadow here so let's have maybe around uh, 15 pixels 15 pixels 20 pixels and then we can have a dark color here so let's put this very dark here and we can work like that easily so let's put a comma there and now we'll need to add minus 15 value here 
minus 15 pixels again and 20 pixels so as you can see that over here we have the pneumorphism ready and let's add the color code and I, can, I think I can change its opacity something like that it looks cool so as you can see we are done with adding pneumorphism effect to the DV so let's add this thing to all of these modules we can paste custom styles like that custom CSS style sorry as you can see we have added the pneumorphism to all of these blurbs module here and let's save this section sorry let's save this page and let's have a look in the front end and there we go we got pneumorphism blurbs here in DV as you can see it looks very cool and as you can see it looks very similar to this so let's work with the inner shadow like, uh, like this one right over here so first of all we'll be adding the inset so we'll have to put a word inset like that to this area and then inset after the comma we have added before you can also change the reposition as you can see it's got white here black here you can simply make it minus 15 and this one 15 and as you can see it looks like that but I think it looks better here so let's save this thing again and now let's see how it looks in the front end as you can see it looks like that same as right here so let's add uh, so let's do this thing when we will hover over to this blur module for this let's go to this blur module settings advanced custom CSS and click on this mouse icon to change the style for the hover so let's copy this box shadow css from here go to hover tab add it here then just simply put the inset here and after the comma like that so let's save the page So as you can see, we got this inset shadow, pneumorphism shadow here. And when I will hover over to this blur module, it will become like that. As you can see, it looks very cool. Much cool, man. Uh, lots of people think that this is going to be trend in 2020. And lots of people don't think so. And personally i also don't think so that this is going to be a trend in 2020 but we'll see what comes up so i think that's it for this video and i hope you guys have enjoyed it and maybe found it helpful and uh, just make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video as well that would be very appreciated thank you so much guys for watching this video again i'll see you in the next one Peace out.